In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do lesson four, scale, copy, and paste in the Tinkercad basic skills lessons. And again, just like the other ones, you start by clicking on the picture of the lessons. And just like all the other lessons, the instructions on the left it says in this project, you'll learn how to drag, scale, and copy, paste shapes on your work plane. So we'll start with a blank work plane for this project, and I'm going to click on next to continue. It says, in this lesson, walks you through the steps to create and scale shapes on the work plane. So the instructions down below says, begin by finding the orange cylinder button, the basic shapes list on the right-hand side. And I see it right here. And I'm going to drag it into the orange area on the screen. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'll just try to give you close. And I have my shape there. And I've done all the, lesson, the instructions here. And I'm going to click on Next. Now let's try it one more time. Go ahead and add another cylinder to the work plane. It says repeat the process again by dragging another orange cylinder onto the work plane. So I'm gonna drag another one right next to the first one. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty darn close. It says you've got it, great work, continue to the next step. And here's the fun part. You're gonna scale the orange cylinder you just dragged to the work plane to a height of 15 millimeters. So it says click and drag the white dot on the top of the shape and drag it down to make the shape 15 millimeters. And so you'll notice the shape has four white squares at the bottom and four black squares and then a white square up at the top. And if I hover my mouse over the white square on the top, it says 20. All these numbers here are represented in millimeters. And so that makes it really nice for 3D printing exact size objects. I'm going to go up here to this white square and I'm going to drag it down till it says 15. And got it. Oh, almost got it. There you go. I'm going to let go. Now it's 15 millimeters. And I'm going to click on to the next step. Now let's add one more cylinder. This time we're going to copy the cylinder. So if I scroll down over here, select a cylinder you want to copy. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to press Control C on the keyboard and then Control V. And there's the other cylinder. So I'm going to drag it over to this uh, area right here. And then I'm going to click Next. This one needs to be 10 millimeters tall. And so right now this one should be 15 because that's the one I copied. And I'm going to change that 15 to a 10. But I'm going to show you a little trick that's not on this lesson right here. If I, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you hold my shift button and right click to move over. All right, this button right here, I want to make it 10. So right now it's 11, 12, 13, 14. I can make it 10 by dragging it up and down. But a little trick over here is to simply click on that square, click on the number 15, and actually type the number 10 and press enter. And it will uh, resize it to be exactly the number you want says you did it. I click next and stars. Now in this lesson what we did is we dragged a shape onto the work plane, we scaled a shape, we copied and pasted a shape on the work plane. So all that are very useful tools uh, and just like the other lessons I'll show you a couple little quick tips along the same lines. You, couldn't, you can also click on a shape and copy control C control V that works. That was up top right here there's a duplicate button. Uh, I can click on the duplicate button and it looks like nothing happened. But if I drag this shape out of the way, there's actually it actually duplicated that shape. Uh, so a common mistake that some students do is they'll press the duplicate button and then think nothing happens and they'll press it again, and press it again, and press it again. And they'll end up having about four, five, six, seven shapes uh, shoved into one another, uh, which isn't that big of a deal, but it's just something that um, can be a, of an issue. Um, another way to duplicate a shape, I, this is one of my favorite ways, is to hold down the ALT, the ALT button on the keyboard. If I hold down the ALT button and then I take the shape that I want to duplicate and just simply drag it away, I can now make a whole bunch of shapes really by not doing a whole lot. Just holding the ALT button I can just copy a whole bunch of shapes together. Uh, so those are some different ways to uh, resize, copy, and move shapes around. Uh, and so that's the end of this lesson.